hata mwanamke anayeishi na ulemavu wengi hujipata kwenye njia panda katika utekelezaji wa majukumu yao kadhalika kuhakikisha uwepo wao unatambulika kwenye ulingo wa kisiasa mwanabari wetu Lidi Okeo aliweza kuzungumza na mwakilishi wa kina mama anayewakilisha ulemavu bungeni na kutuandalia makala yafuatayo Mheshimiwa Denita Gatsi ni mwakilishi wa wanawake wanaoishi na ulemavu bungeni. Alizaliwa katika jamii ndogo ya Kuria iliyoko kaunti ya Migori ambapo mila na utamaduni huzingatiwa na kuenziwa sana. I'm a typical Kuria girl, uh, Kuria woman, uh, born and raised actually and brought up in Kuria land. Uh, that is Kuria East. Uh, where I come from, uh, Kuria East is in Migori County in a village called Maeta. It's quite a small village there. That is where I grew up. My parents, that's where, you know, they, 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 they grew me up. And, um, you know, my time actually growing up really was extremely difficult. A Kuria girl of my time, uh, you know, you can imagine. I grew up in the 80s, early 80s, FGM issues, early marriage issues, issues of, uh, you know, wife battering. That, that was the norm. And, and I'm happy that, let me tell you, I'm happy that those things are changing. Alianza kujihusisha na masuala ya uongozi ya kiwa mchanga na ingia wa kijana barubaru tayari alikuwa na ustadi wa uongozi. You know, right from primary school, I had uh, managed to, you know, get, uh, you know, leadership positions in school. Uh, I was a class prefect, uh, you know, from my class, class three, or what we're calling grade three or something like that. And, uh, you know, it, it went on and on and on until I got uh, again in, in high school, into high school. In high school, I also became a class prefect. I became an ablution prefect. <laughs> I in charge of sanitation. And um, I, 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 I think somehow my leadership skills just began building themselves. Denita alimaliza masomo yake kisha akawa mwanahabari. Alitumia nafasi hiyo kuzungumzia masuala ya kimila katika jamii yake yanayosusha hadhi ya wanawake kama vile ukeketaji na ndoa za mapema. It, it was so normal to see a woman being battered. That is that is the culture we have grown in. Those are the, the times of our grandparents and our fathers and you know and those are situations that and you know again get transitioning into being a writer. You know here you are as a news writer and especially a features writer and you are seeing situations that you really feel like you you really have no control. You you know there's something that is different between just writing a story and leaving it there for public to to read and and feeling it because for me I would really feel it. Hata hivyo kiongozi huyo hakuzaliwa alivyo meaning that i got my disability in 2014 when i was you know busy coming from the county and coming to nairobi after i, I had really ce celebrated international women's day and i was now you know coming back to nairobi to to relax you know along narok my mahi road my car just developed a tire burst and within you know minutes my car was rolling you, you know, we, we veered off the road and uh, we found ourselves somewhere in a ditch in a, some farm there and um, that is where I later on came to realize that I had actually broken my, you know, injured my spine. Maisha yake yakawa na mabadiliko na ilimbidi ajifunze upya jinsi ya kujishughulikia bungeni. I completely did not know about disability life. Um, and there is nothing as difficult as suffering a disability in adult age. That one you can be sure. Nobody prepares you for, for disability. Nobody prepares you for anything. You know, I got here into parliament, you know, this vibrant young girl, I was 32, uh, around 32 that time. So I have quickly learned the ropes. <laughs> I have, um, as you can see, I have adjusted myself very well and I can tell you for, free, for sure that I'm a very proud disabled woman member of parliament. Haikuwa rahisi sana kurudi bungeni akiwa katika hali hiyo kwani hata wanasiasa wenzake hawakujua jinsi ya kuhusiana naye bungeni. Now the challenge comes be being a woman with a disability in parliament because let me tell you it is, you, you know you have your uh, county expectation or your community expectation or your constituency expectation and here you are also as a you know you have a disability you know this is a whole total transformation kwa sasa mbunge huyu anapigania haki za wanawake wanaoishi na ulemavu bungeni huku akipania kuhakikisha kwamba wanawake hao wamepewa nafasi uongozini i have faced exclusion even from the women uh, themselves the women movement themselves and that's what i championed and that's the reason why for me i champion it's inclusivity now it is i felt it i have felt it when i did not have a disability and i and i have had the opportunity to to, to now know the two lives i can tell you there is nothing that you can you cannot put together women and women with disabilities and you can see even in most of these meetings and these conferences and these discourses that we talk about that is why you see for me i champion and i tell them 
Even today I came from my work and I told them, you can never talk about women as a homogeneous group. Yes, we are women, but look at young women. Look at women with disabilities. Look at women with other diversities. Then now bring us now together again as women. Vile vile anaunga mkono mswada wa BBI akiwa na matumaini kwamba mswada huo utawashughulikia kina mama hao wanaoishi na ulemavu nchini. I've gone to almost all BBIs articulating the concerns of persons with disabilities. One of the key things that persons with disabilities like about BBI is the fact that it talks about inclusivity and who has been excluded in this country for far too long persons with disabilities. Zaidi ya hayo tayari amewasilisha pendekezo la kina mama hao kuhusiana na BBI. Kwa sasa napigania haki ya kina mama hao akitumia wakfa wake inayojulikana kama Denita Gati Foundation. The perception of our people and our community has to change on how persons with disabilities do politics. Lydia Okeo Runinga ya KU Nairobi.